the first ministry uh, who would make such a decision now. Uh, fortunately, at this point for us, um, that is not a done deal. And so there is a window of opportunity for us to make a strong appeal to, well, demand to the Prime Minister and his cabinet to, uh, for them to understand the importance for us to safeguard our national assets. When we look at the social aspects uh, of, of such decision, we have workers at BTL who uh, we represent and at social security by the same token. But there's, um, there, there's more a national um, interest in terms of the social protection that social security um, offers. So it's important for us to, to gauge these types of decision. Of course, in our letter, we are concerned that um, such move could be could, could be tantamount to conflict of interest, given um, certain interests uh, with individuals and uh, smart, right? So uh, we have to uh, go back to the fact that in 2021, we took the government to court uh, over, it could be after that, the uh, Microsoft 365, and the concern that we had at that time is that there was a breach of, of uh, the Finance and Audit Act. Unfortunately, um, the judge reminded us that even though we were successful in, 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 in pointing that out, uh, the Finance and Audit Act does not have any remedies, right? So you see the continuous breaches and signs of breaches of the uh, Finance and Audit Act. So in our letter, we're reminding the government, look, you have a good governance commitment. Uh, let's remain focused on the good governance commitments and strengthening of these oversights, uh, oversight bodies.